Hi everyone, Nicholas Buffett is here from Sunny Cypress and welcome to today's tutorial, which is all about the synchronization of a Microsoft booking page and your Outlook calendar. Now, there are two types of booking pages. You've got the booking page or your personal booking page. Personal booking pages are not affected because they're directly linked with your calendar. However, booking pages, they are affected with this issue because a booking page will create a new calendar and that calendar needs to synchronize with your personal calendar. And sometimes there's an issue, it won't see when you're busy making slots in the booking page available at the times that you don't want to be available. So let's go have a look at the issue directly from bookings. So here I'm signed into my 365 account. In a different account, you can see the icon up here. I've got my little different profile picture here. Uh, basically my little OneNote GIF, which was created by me by the OneNote team. And from here, I'm going to go have a look at bookings. Or actually before bookings, I'm going to go have a look at my calendar so we can see what I've done. In my calendar, I've actually booked myself off on the 29th of March from 8 a.m. until 10 a.m. Now, essentially, I've done this because any services in bookings pages People shouldn't be able to book appointments with me during this time. For whatever reason, I may be teaching. This might be a class. It might be another meeting that I have. So let's go look at the personal booking page first. So if I go from here, from my apps, go to bookings, we can see we've got the new booking page, the personal booking page at the top. OK, so this isn't shared booking pages from the personal booking page. If I go to my booking page, I can see I've got a service here. Let's just go have a look at it quickly. Now, again, I've got tutorials on personal booking pages and booking pages. I'm going to put links to those tutorials in the description. OK, so we can see this service here is just called Meet Mr. P. Down here, it says I'm only available on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays, in particular Wednesdays from 8 a.m. until 11 p.m. So that's like the whole day. OK, but. As we saw in my calendar, I don't want to be bookable between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. So if I close that, if I get a share link to this booking page, first of all, and I go have a look at this booking page. There's my booking page, uh, my personal booking page. And if I go to the 29th of the month, you can see there are no slots available before 10 a.m. And that's because my calendar actually says through that my calendar actually says that I'm busy from 8 a.m. until 10 a.m. And because the personal booking page is basically linked directly to your calendar, it will see when you're busy. So no issue there. Where does the issue arise? Well, if we go have a look over here, this is my other account where I'll actually let's just close this and open these up again uh, quickly. So I've actually opened my bookings from here. And from here, I've actually created a booking page. So I'm not going to look at my personal booking page. I'm actually looking at the booking pages. And I've created the service in this booking page here. If we go have a look at the services here, we can see I've got this calendar test. OK, so this is a service where I can add other people and people, uh, whoever's trying to make a booking, they can choose which staff member they want to book an appointment with. So if I just have a look at this very quickly, I can see here that my availability options over here are only on Wednesdays and Thursdays. And we can see when on, on Wednesdays from 8.15 until 11.30 a.m. and the same Thursday. OK, so I should people should be able to book from 8.15 to 11.30. But remember, over here, we said that in my calendar on this particular Wednesday from 8 a.m. until 10 a.m. on the 29th, they shouldn't be able to book. So let's go have a look and see if that's true. So if I discard these changes here, I'm going to get a link to the booking page. So I'm just going to get that link here and I'm going to put this over here so I don't have to keep switching screens. So let's paste that here. So here's the booking page. Uh, I can choose from here. The only staff member that's been added is me. And now if I have a look on the 29th of the month, you can see here my availability options are from 8.15 onwards. So it's not actually getting this busy period that I've got here. Basically, all the slots from 8.15 all the way up to 10 should vanish. OK, and this is not happening. And that's because the calendar 
for the booking page is not synchronizing, is not able to see um, the times where I'm busy in my personal calendar. So how do we fix this? Well, it's quite easy. You need to go from sign into 365. Now you have to be on 365 online, okay? Um, so you can't open your calendar in the Outlook or open Outlook, the application. You have to open your calendar or Outlook online. So from 365, I'm just gonna go open up my calendar, which I've already got open. So I can either open it from here, but I've already got it open here. With the calendar open, you simply go to this gear cog in the top right corner. Okay. At the bottom, you're going to see view all Outlook uh, settings. So we're going to click on that. From here, we're going to choose calendar. And then we're going to choose shared calendars. Now, from here, you're going to choose which calendar you want to change the permissions of. If you haven't created new calendars, then you will only have one. So I'm going to select it. I've only got one calendar. It's called calendar. Here you would see who you've shared this calendar with. Or if you do want to share it with somebody, you can change those permissions. But what I'm having a look at, look at here is inside your organization, people in my organization not shared. So basically, that means my calendar cannot be seen because it's not shared to, with anybody or anything um, from another application or from another calendar. So what you need to do is to change this permission to any one of these, it doesn't matter, as long as it's not shared. Now, the minimum permissions are can view when I'm busy. So I'm just gonna choose this one. And that just means in general, everybody can see when I'm busy. And that's really a good thing because if someone wants to book an appointment with you or book a meeting with you, they would know when you're busy so they don't double book you. And that's it, guys. That's all you have to do. Um, you don't need to save this. This is all automatically saved. So if I go to this booking page now and I refresh, Let's now go to the 29th and you can see now that my bookings are only available from 10 a.m. onwards because of, let's just close that and that, because of this busy period here. And if I change that now and I make this from 10 until, uh, from 8 until 9 a.m., so all I have to do, now you can change your calendar from the Outlook application, that's fine. Um, when I go to here and I refresh this, I will now go choose me. So I want to book with this person on the 29th. And you can see now it's available from 9 a.m. onwards. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So um, just remember, personal booking pages are not affected by this because the people are actually booking directly in your calendar. The booking pages which are affected are basically when somebody, a company or an administrator or somebody has created a booking page a shared booking page has created a service and you have been added to that service okay and that's it guys so i hope you found this video tutorial useful um and if you did you like it you know the drill make sure you like make sure you subscribe i'll see you again in the next video take care bye bye